It is not a matter of ability. It is a matter of will. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, when we travel at the railway stations and bus stands, we find many people who beg for food and money. Some of them have various illnesses too. When they are with shabby, tattered clothes and dirty looking, some of us give money or give food, keeping quite distance and we don't like to touch them. Leprosy in biblical times was a terrible thing. Once a person caught it, it was considered incurable and those diagnosed with leprosy were banned from society. Leprosy made a person ritually unclean. To touch a leper defiled a Jew almost as much as touching a dead person. In a sense, leprosy was a sign of God's disfavor for them. In today's Gospel, Jesus has left Capernaum and is on one of his preaching tours through the towns of Galilee. But a leper who happens to be near sees him. The leper is far advanced with the disease. Therefore, Luke the physician says, he is full of leprosy or covered with leprosy. This disfigured man, dressed in tattered clothing, his face partly covered, shadowing the edge of the village street so as to avoid people, he sees Jesus there. His stare fixes upon Jesus. Perhaps he has seen him teaching. Perhaps he hears the whispers of those around him pointing and saying, That is Jesus, the healer. His mind must be occupied with thoughts like, No leper has been healed since Elijah. But he has heard that Jesus has healed many incurable diseases. His reputation has spread far and wide. If he can cure other illnesses, why not leprosy? But to come to Jesus for healing is a risk in itself. The leper will be beaten if he does not strictly observe the rules to keep his distance from normal people. But he must risk it. If Jesus can heal him, he must risk any punishment, however severe. So now, all of a sudden, he rushes across the street to where Jesus is standing and falls down with his face. The leper begs, not even daring to look up, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. When you think about this statement, it is remarkable for its faith. Here is a man who states his belief that Jesus can do what only Elijah could do, heal a leper. It is not a matter of ability, the leper is saying. It is a matter of will. Jesus is able to heal him, the man boldly states. The leper voices a question that many of us have today. We know theoretically that Jesus is able to heal. After all, he is the Son of God. But our faith does not extend to the hardest situations, to cancer or any other chronic diseases. But many times our hope does not quite rise to the rim of actual faith. Our mindset is much more willing to believe the impossibilities of medical sciences than the possibilities of divine intervention. Therefore, dear friends, today let us ask the Lord to increase our faith. As the leper believed, for Jesus nothing is impossible. So we also believe that for Jesus everything is possible. As Jesus touched the leper and healed and cleansed him, May we also reach out today and always with compassionate care, with love, with a touch to those who have been rejected and mistreated.